Hey guys, it's Kevin from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic Food Review just for you. I'm in the mighty town of Newmarket, Ontario, Canada at this A&W location because they have an all-day breakfast, although it is like 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I wanted to do two things on their breakfast menu. Uh, they're all Canadian breakfast and their pancakes and let you guys know if they're any good or not. I bet they are good. Shh, we're next. Hi, welcome to NW. Hi, how are you today? I'm good, and you, sir? All right, thanks for coming into work today. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for coming today, too. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I'm gonna try your uh, all-Canadian breakfast. Oh, we, for the meantime, we stop serving that. Do you do the pancakes? No, no plates for now. Uh, which items do we have today? The sandwich here. Oh, okay. Change of plans. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. We have bacon and egg. -er. I'll do the bacon and egg -er with the hash browns and um, an orange juice, small. Okay. And then I'll also do the sausage and egg, -er, please. On a bun or English muffin? Uh, English muffin, please. Both of them. Both English muff muffins? Yes. Anything else, sir? That's it, thank you. All right. All right. All right. So during COVID-19, they are not serving the all-day breakfast platter and the pancakes on the side. I'm so looking forward to that too. Oh well, we gotta do what we gotta do. She had the tap machine on a stick, which is great. It's just there's, she doesn't have to lean out, and it keeps her a little bit further away from the customers. Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh, one more thing? Oh, okay. Thank you. That's all right. Ciao. All right, people, let's park it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, so first up, we got our drink. Let's put the straw in the drink, paper straw. Do that. Try not to touch anything for a minute. There we go, clever. Clever. Uh, we'll get this stuff out too. So we got our napkins, our hash brown. Only wanted one, and then the sandwich, and the sandwich. All right, and the bill came too while we're here, fourteen dollars and seventy-seven cents. Just buying the bacon and agar or the sausage and agar, they're both they're each four eighty nine. Just to give you a heads up on that. All right, let's go to the hand sanitizer and stay clean, shall we? All right, you ready? Here we go. All done. All right, let's take a sip of this orange juice. It doesn't taste like freshly squeezed kind of orange juice. I know they probably don't fresh squeeze. No, it's got pulp in it. Looks good. Paper straw, way to go. I'm just gonna put that there for now. I also brought a coffee from home. I made a pot of coffee and uh, I had like a whole cup left over and it's still morning and I try to eat, drink all my coffee in the morning. So I had one cup at home, did stuff on the computer and then drove here. Let's check out this hash brown. Nicely cooked, golden brown. Do you guys put ketchup on your hash browns? I don't. Mmm, just straight up. Mmm. Deep fried potatoes. For your morning breakfast. I also wanted to share something very important with you guys today. Today marks the milestone of me losing 30 pounds since February 3rd. Today is May 4th. Stood in the scale today uh, and I was 206.5 pounds. Uh, I still have a little ways to go before I'm super happy with my weight, which is probably going to be just under 190, I believe I would like to be. But here's to you guys, uh, if you're out there trying to lose weight. Uh, again, I only eat stuff like this two or three times a week. Exercise, do a lot of cycling, do fasting, intermittent fasting, water fasting, and uh, then I get treats like this. 
Mmm. I'm still losing weight. You can too. Mmm. I have to eat all my hash browns before I get into my sandwiches. Not dry, nice and moist. Just the right amount of salt. I don't think I've ever, I'm not sure if they even salt these. There's probably a lot of sodium in it. But I'm not sure if they, let me know in the comments below if you work at McDonald's, any of the fast food joints. Do you guys put salt on the hash browns after they come out like the fries? It doesn't taste like you do, but they're still good. One down, two to go. Let's do another quick sip. Show the logo. Mm. It's a bit sour. It's not a very sweet orange juice. I probably won't get that again. Sorry, A&W, but something's up with the orange juice. It's just a bit sour. Sorry to complain, but I got to tell you like it is. Let's put that one there. And that one there. All right, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the egg, bacon and agar first. So we got two strips, thinly sliced bacon. We got our processed cheese. We've got our egg, uh, freshly cracked egg. I'm not sure if they crack them here. Uh, toasted English muffin. I don't want buns for breakfast. Buns are for lunch and dinner. Cheers. Hmm. I think the cheese is real cheddar. Um, after taking that bite, yeah, it's real cheddar. It's not processed. All right. Uh, the the bun is nicely buttered. So as I was biting through that, I could taste the butter and then of course the bacon. And then I got that uh, cheesy egg taste. Mm-hmm. Would you guys put uh, ketchup on that too? I wouldn't. It tastes great. Now it's time to try the sausage and agar. And uh, on here we've got our sausage patty. We got our egg, one again, a freshly cracked egg. Then we got our real cheddar. And let's put that back together, take a bite. I bet I'm gonna like this better. Mmm. Mmm. As I bit through that, the flavors of the sausage are just so much better than the bacon. I love bacon pretty much on anything, but whenever I come to a fast food place for breakfast and I have, uh, there's either the choice of sausage or the bacon, I always get the sausage. It just tastes better in my opinion. Cheers. Every time. All right, side by side comparison. Mm-hmm. Sausage is awesome. Bacon. It's good. Just not as much flavor as that. When you put them side by side and you compare the amount of meat you get, this is uh, more for your buck. Again, it tastes good. This is better, better value, better flavor. So let me and everybody else know what you prefer, sausage or bacon. I prefer sausage. I think the only way you can make this better than this is to put applewood smoked thick cut bacon on it and double the bacon on it. This might trump this. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Looks like just a few more bites. Whenever I do a comparison between two items at a restaurant, I always save the better one for last. But let's just finish this one off. Save the best piece for last. Mmm. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Yes, it did. All right, guys, first off, I'd like to apologize because I wanted to do the pancakes and all Canadian breakfast. Uh, maybe after this whole COVID-19 is over, we'll come back down here to Newmarket and do that for you. 
But for now, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give A&W's Sausage and Egger a go out and get it now. The Bacon and Egger would be a would recommend, nothing wrong with it, I just prefer the sausage over the bacon. The orange juice is an indifferent. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever tried the a w coffee, uh, but get milk or something. But the orange juice, let me know if you agree or disagree. Uh, the orange juice here uh, at a w has a bit of a sour taste to it. Uh, not too keen on it. And of course those hash browns are a go out and get it now as well. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this awesome playlist and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.